Good afternoon. This is Dupes the Genius, and I am your tutor, that is mathematics tutor from Genius Tuition Institute. Now, I just want to clarify on how we use our Google Classrooms. So the first thing that you do, you need to log into your, your account like I'm doing now. I'm getting to this. It will look like this. Genius Tuition Institute, 10 p.m. p.m. that is PUMETS, PUMETS. So here you will get the code, but please never give anyone this code. It is yours. Now, when you, you, you scroll up, you will get, um, Rupi Philemon posted the new, da, 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 da. Uh -huh. and then at the bottom, this will be the, 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 yes, this will be the assignments that I will have posted in, in the class. Now you click on the, the assignments, like let me just do it. You click here and then it will open up. And after that, you look for a, a link. There will be a link. Yes, there will be a link. Now here it is, it shows me the number of people who are here. Let me go back. Then, yes, you will get this messages, but at the bottom here, you will get the books. Now this one, the first one, and the first and the second is for publisher. That is why if you don't have um, a publisher um, app, you can open this too. So you must have a publisher app to open this. So, but if you have PDF, you can go to this one. This is the whole book. This one is book one and book two. So now let's get to the book, PDF, because I know most of you uh, have PDF. So let us just check how we are going to fare with this. Yeah, it's opening. And remember, this is your class, uh, yeah, your grade 10 textbook. Look at this, grade 10 mathematics learner English PDF. Here you will get the whole textbook that is everything mathematics. It will be here. And I'm going to show you some features of this. That is why I say the future of learning is no longer in the classroom, but in the cloud. So let us just wait for it to open. Yes, let it open. Yeah, Bo. Yeah, we are going to use ebooks. That this is the future. Ebook that is electronic book. The whole book will be in your phone. 530 something pages will be in your phone. You will be able to view it online and offline. So I'm just waiting for it to, to open. Yeah, this is the great news of the fourth industrial revolution. Yeah, it shows us pages, page one of 535. So the whole book is in your, in your form. You're just waiting for it to open.
Oh my God, it's taking so long, my computer. Yeah, there it is, guys. This is grade 10. Mathematics, Sia Vula, everything, maths. Now, let's get to our first week. That is the first week we are going to deal with the products. Products, and I think that should be page seven. Yeah, somewhere there. Okay. And there's some stuff that I want to show you guys. When you have this, you have everything at your disposal. Yeah, let us just wait for it. Yeah, this is, um, yeah, chapter six. Yeah, the first one. Yeah, it's exponential. That is chapter, you know, of factorization product. That is page 16. Page 16. I now have to go to page 16. Page 16, page 16, page 16. Yes, yeah, I am. Yeah. Now, algebraic expressions. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, now suppose we are to do estimating sets. Let us just take it from here because I, I, see, I see that it takes a long time. So you, you look at this, then a perfect square is a number obtained when an integer is squared. For an example, nine is a perfect square since three squared is equal to nine. So similarly, a perfect cube is a cube which is the cube of an integer. For example, 27 is a perfect cube because that is three to the power, three. Three cube is equal to 27. Now 27 is a cube. So now, if you want to get a clear explanation of this, what do you do? There are lessons guys in this. Now, you, you look at this side. This is a video side. Now, what do you do? You click on, you have 2DDV. V stands for video. This is a two dimension digital video. Two dimensional digital video. So you click on this and then you watch. What's gonna happen? Okay, it's redirecting you to everything maths at blah 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 text to d that. So let us watch what we get. Guys, there are ever so many, so many that we are going to learn here because I'm not only going to be the one who's going to tutor you, but you are also going to get this. Now, I, uh, let me, Now there it comes, then you click on that, then you will see what's gonna happen now. 
something is coming. The whole lesson will be here, guys. Sets between integers. This is how you want to find that. For an example, I, I, I still remember I got this question from Diakete, and this is the videos that you should watch. The whole lesson is there. There it comes, guys. Let us know. Hello. Great tens, and welcome to today's lesson where we are going to learn how to determine between which two integers a surge lies. Before we can begin, there is some important terminology that we need to revise. In order to understand surge, we first need to understand squared and cubed numbers. A perfect square is the product of an integer multiplied by itself. For example, four is a perfect square because two times two or two squared is equal to four. When a perfect square is square rooted, it will have an answer that is an integer. For example, the square root of 36 is six. It is important to know all the squared numbers up to 13 squared. Take a moment and write these down. Write these down. A perfect cubed number is an integer that is multiplied by itself twice. For example, three times three times three is equals to 27. When we find the cube root of a perfect cubed number, the answer will be an integer. Now that we've revised squared and cubed numbers, it's easier to understand a third. A third is the root of a number which can only be found approximately. So we say that the square root of a non-perfect square is a third. Let us look at some examples. The square root of 2 is 1, 4142135 4, and continues on. The square root of 3 is 1, 73. 20508 and continues on. Both of these thirds have to have their values approximated by rounding to a certain number of decimal places. Let us find between which two integers the square root of 15 lies between. First, let us see what answer we would get if we put this into the calculator. First, push the square root button then one and five for 15 and press equals. We get an answer of three comma eight, seven, two, nine, eight, three, three, four, six, and it continues on. If we put this onto a number line, we can see clearly that the square root of 15 lies between the integers three and four. Okay. So that's how we find the two integers using the calculator and the number lines. But these questions are going to ask to do this without the use of a calculator. Let's do the same example without a calculator. We simply need to determine which are the first perfect square integers that are less than and greater than 15. If we look at the table of squared numbers, we see that the square root of 15 will fall between the square root of nine and the square root of 16. We write that the square root of 15 is between the square root of nine and the square root of 16. This means that our answer is three is less than the square root of 15, which is less than four. We are able to find between which two cubes the integer lies in a similar way. Determine between which two integers the cube root of 349 lies. If we look at the table of cubed numbers, 
we see that the cube root of 349 lies between the cube root of 343 and the cube root of 512. This means that the cube root of 349 lies between 7 and 8. Thank you for joining us, grade 10s. Remember to try the task video at the end of this section. You'll also be able to learn more about algebraic expressions on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Now, this is how you should do it. This is how you should do it, guys. Now, uh, what we need to do now is we are getting back to our book. This was just an example. You will get a question, find two consecutive integers such that this lies between them. Now, that is exactly what you are going to do. But in this case, what I need you to do is to get to the products the products you go on page page 1 6 that is page 16 you go through that chapter and then what you need to do is before that is um uh, let me show you that is chapter 1 algebraic expressions, that is what you're going to do. Now, to find the products of a binomial and a trinomial, multiply this by that, by that, by that, you will check that. Then, but you know, here is a sign of video. It says, visit, this video shows that. We need to read. Now you are going to click here. And just like the first, in the first video, you're going to click here. And thereafter, you will get the whole lesson. And then here is the solution to, to this one. You expand this because this is a binomial and this is a trinomial. You expand this by putting it here and then the other one there. Open bracket, open bracket behind this two. That is this two. And then inside the brackets, you insert the second bracket here and there. And there after what you do, you multiply x multiplied by x squared, it will give you x cubed. Then x by this, it will give you minus two x squared. X multiplied by one, it will be x. And then you come to the second bracket, that will be minus one multiplied by x squared, it will give you minus x squared. Minus one multiplied by negative two x, it will give you positive two x. And then minus one multiplied by positive one, it will give you minus one. Now, in short, when you multiply by a negative value, it means you have to change each and every sign that you get here. And thereafter, multiply by, by the numerical coefficient there. So that's it. So guys, that is how you are going to do it. Now, you are going to do exercise one. It's exercise one to four. That will be for the whole week. That will be for the whole week. Now, for Monday, this Monday, starting from today, one, two, three. Today you do A, this part. A up to, up to Y. Tomorrow, B up to Z. And on Monday, you do the rest. That will be C2 to X. That is how we are going to do it. And then on Tuesday, you are going to do number two. Yes, number two. Yeah, I think half of it, half of it, that will be on Tuesday. Half of it on Tuesday. 
Then on Thursday, you do the last, uh, I mean, on Wednesday, you do the last, that is number two. And then on Thursday, you do number, number three, the whole of number three. And then on Friday, on Friday, that will be the rest up to number, number eight. Yeah, number eight. And then, yeah, no, 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 not number eight, number 10 up to number 10. So this will be the work that you need to do. Now, what are these? For more exercises, visit this, and then click on the practice mess. Now, when you look at this, this is one A, one B, one there. Then if after you work it out first, and thereafter, you will get the solutions here. Let me show you. 1A, let's go to 1A, 1A, yeah, 1A, that is 2Y in brackets, it's Y plus plus 4. You multiply this by this, it will be 2Y squared, 2Y multiplied by that, it will be for, I mean, 8y. Therefore, our answer is 2y squared plus 8y. Now let's get to that page. Yes, here it is. Yeah, it is. No, uh, no, 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 no. I'm not far from yes. Yes, now let me go click on this and then check what do you see? Yeah, it is redirecting us to everything maths. See Abula, read. And guys, the future, this is the future. This is the future. And I would like, um, one of the, 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 the parents, we're having one of the parents here. And then this information, you have all other books in here. Then for practice, you can download this. Okay, let's, let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. But those are, are uh, some hints that we are going to use. Now, even for grade seven, we have grade seven, grade eight, grade nine, and then up to 12. They're now having grade, grade seven, and it's fine, it's fine. So thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And don't forget to do the work. Remember, do the work as soon as possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you.